Hi, everyone. We have, this church has a wealth of art around it, and uh, there are things in closets that I'm finding, and things on walls that people have no idea why we have it. Well, this is one of those pieces. It's a wood inlay piece that um, apparently came from a missionary that we supported who lived in India. Uh, we supported them for the better part of three or four decades. Um, and they gave this to us as a thank you. It was created by an artist in South Africa um, and given to the church in, I wanna say the 50s or 60s. Uh, but it's a beautiful piece. Uh, and then also it's a beautiful piece that tells the story of Christianity around the world and our engagement with the Christianity, uh, the Christians around the world uh, and, and the ministries that have been taking place. This week in worship, uh, we are celebrating World Communion Sunday, a day that it was created by a Presbyterian min minister many years ago in Pittsburgh and has kind of spread and taken off because it celebrates and it uh, calls for us to keep in mind Christians around the world. It reminds us that we are all part of one body uh, and that we are all part of the church. And so we're, I'm really excited. I, I love this Sunday. We do communion in worship. Uh, we celebrate the body of Christ in its many forms. We celebrate the body of Christ in its many breads uh, as well. And so um, we hope that you'll join us for that. Uh, we'll also be receiving the Peace and Global Witness offering, which is one of the many ways that Presbyterians join together to support the ministries of the church and specifically ministries of peace and reconciliation. So uh, we hope you'll join us for that. We hope you'll uh, give generously to that offering and uh, I hope to see you Sunday, Sunday morning, 10 a.m. See you then.